Hello there, Aries. This is Valkyrie Tarot coming at you for your September 1st to the 15th, 2019 Soulmate and Love Reading. Welcome back to all of you that have uh, been watching me. I always appreciate your support. Um, if this doesn't resonate with you, as it won't resonate with everybody, that's totally okay. But what I would recommend is look at the other readings, like look at your other star signs. Uh, sometimes they can resonate in a different way. So for example, my sun sign is Scorpio, but my moon and my rising sign are Libra. So I always watch both signs um, just to get a better understanding of what to look forward to. All right. Um, another really cool thing is I'm going to be doing personal readings moving forward. So if you're interested in a personal reading, uh, check out the information below. I can do face-to-face -face readings if you live locally, or if not, I can set things up on Skype and do like a uh, personal face-to-face, -face, okay? Um, that being said, we're going to get started. All right, uh, per usual, I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot as our general deck, and then uh, the Ask and No Oracle for some little tidbits at the end, and my clarification deck is going to be the Egyptian Tarot. All right, everything has been pre-shuffled, but I am going to continue shuffling the Gilded Tarot on screen, just in case anything pops out in the pre-shuffle. All right, Angel Spirits and Guardians, I ask you to come down to us and support us with uh, positivity, white light, and universal love. Please protect us from any negative influences. This is for Aries, September 1st to the 15th, 2019. Yikes, those all fell out. That's way too much. Grant us answers to that which we seek to find. Grant us answers to that which lays in mind. Oh. Two swords. Stalemate situation. Perhaps you feel like you can't make a choice or you don't know what choice to make. All right, what do you say we go? Boom, let's do this. First card that I draw, it's going to be your energy, where you are at right now, Aries. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles means being feeling abundant in your wealth at the current time, being able to share your, your wealth and your abundance with others. All right, next card. This is going to be where your love interest or your soulmate is at currently. King of Wands, all about the passion, all about the drive, all about the motivation to move forward, to have intimacy. I mean, he is the King of Wands after all. What? <laughs> Actually, King of Wands, that's you, Aries, if I am correct. Pretty sure that's you. That represents you in the Zodiac. Ooh, all right. Energy between you two. Three of Swords, Broken Heart, some sort of disappointment and love here four of card four of cards <laughs> fourth card is going to be what's currently blocking the two of you so we have the knight of cups there is an offer of love here or an offer of emotion that's blocking you right now must have caused that all right and the core problem behind both of these is the ten of wands there's a burden someone feels burdened by this connection here interesting Hello. Sorry. You can probably hear my dog. She's uh, she's hanging out, trying to say hello. All right. Next card. This is going to be a past energy or situation that is currently influencing you. All right. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. That is almost always upright for me. I kind of consider that the same as the sun sign. That means things are turning in your favor. This is an abundance card. All right. Goes really well with that Six of Pentacles. You're in a good place right now. You're definitely in a good place right now. All right, this next card is going to be a past energy or influence that is currently affecting your loved one. All right, Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands, if we're talking about a person, this is someone who is very passionate, very beautiful, someone who everybody pays attention to. However, when she's in reverse, she is angry as all get up. She is someone that you want to duck from cover. However, I will point this out. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. This is a relationship. This is a couple. So either this person is coming out of a relationship with someone else or they, they see you as this person. 
but you're angry for some reason. There, there is a broken heart here. There is a, a lack of emotional connectivity going on here because something feels like a burden. All right. Overall energy is going to be the bottom of the deck, and we have the Three of Wands. All right, that almost always signifies having to make a choice, waiting for your ship to come in. Um, you might be a third-party person, so that's telling me that this Queen of Wands is um, is another individual. It's not you. They're, they're trying to get over someone else here. All right, let's get some clarification, though. Can I have a little bit more clarification on this Three of Swords here? What is this heart cake? Two cards popped. We have the sun, which is ultimate happiness and abundance. And we have the five of pentacles being left out in the cold. So that heartache perhaps is no longer an issue anymore. Maybe something had to happen in order for this to move forward. All right, talk about this knight of cups. <laughs> Ace of Cups, right here. Ace of Cups, but it's inverted. So there was an offer of love, and it was rejected. That's where this heartache is coming from. Maybe the problem is, is that you're happy where you're at. You don't feel like you need to have this connection with this other person. You don't feel like you need them. And that is a hard thing for some people to stomach. All right, what about this Ten of Wands? What's going on with this Ten of Wands? Wands. What is this burden? What's the burden? Ace of Swords is the burden. And the burden is the truth. The truth. So perhaps they're... The truth is that they're just not into you. Which sucks. Um, or the truth is that maybe they had to choose between you and someone else. Maybe they are still in this relationship with this other person. Who knows? You know, there's a choice that needs to be made. There's multiple paths. You're waiting for your ship to come in, you know? All right. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. What do we got going on with that? Wheel of Fortune. This is you. This is your energy. Page of Wands. So passion matches up over here, but not as strong as the king and the queen here. It's a little bit of passion. It could also be an interest in work as well. So... Wands aren't necessarily just passion and love. They're also work um, and industry, okay? So that's just something to keep in mind here. Let's see. Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands over here. Eight of Cups. Yep. Leaving someone behind. Okay. So this person has left another person behind, and they, they want you. They want... They want you to choose them, it looks like. And that's where that heartache is coming from, is you're like, yo, no, I don't need it. I'm good where I'm at. I am good. You care about them, sure, but you're, you're happy where you're at. Knight of Wands is going to be um, explaining the Three of Wands. All right, so the Knight of Wands, it's a step up from the Page of Wands. Again, there's some passion there, but that might be all that it is. It might not be what this King of Wands really wants. Um, they want love. And it's being denied to them. But you're happy where you're at. <sighs> Aries, you are, you're solid. There's no need for you to be in a relationship right now if you don't want one. And uh, the other person realizes that you don't need them. And that's, that's a hard pill for them to swallow. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. What do we got? Two cards here from the Oracle. Messages from above. Is that two? That is two. Fork in the road. And a leg up. All right, so that's basically telling you there's a choice to be made. You can either choose to stay with this person or you can choose to walk away. Either way, you have a leg up on the situation. You are more than capable of handling whatever is going on. Sounds like you've already made up your decision, though, to be honest. All right, let's end this reading with an oracle card from the moon deck. Great way to round it out. One card. One card for Aries here. One card. I love myself unconditionally. Sorry, I love myself completely and unconditionally. Beautiful, beautiful way to put it. You are putting yourself first, Aries, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. 
Let's read from this book, though, so you can get a little bit more information on it. Self-love is daily. As we step off the roller coaster ride of trying to be something or someone that doesn't reflect our truth, we're learning to love and approve of where we are in this moment. You are worthy of complete and unconditional love. Call back all of the love you owe to yourself. The only validation that matters is your own. No one can give this to you or take it from you, except you. As the beauty of the lotus emerges from the mud, know that you can choose to make any challenge a stepping stone, guiding you to be the woman or man you truly are capable of becoming. Unlock this wisdom and become and welcome compassion. Take time to initiate your daily self-love rituals and make them a natural part of your life. The remedy is within. Aries, my dear fire friend, it's all about you. Focus on you. If this person isn't what you want, it's time to move on. I hope you liked this reading and hopefully it resonated with you. If you did like it, please like and subscribe. I will be coming back in two weeks for the second half of September. And with that being said, I will talk to you soon. Deuces.